welcome to this video tutorial for the Rose Cottage Square. I'm making this uh, blanket for my daughter who's leaving university soon and I'm using this lovely um, merino wool yarn. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. And here's the square, so pretty. And uh, for the sake of the video, so that I can be a bit more, let's get that out of the way, a bit more robust, um, I'm going to be using DK Acrylic Style Craft Special DK in colour 1834. So we're going to get on with it, straight on with it. I'm going to make a double magic circle. I've chained one and then pull the tail out. Make sure you yarn, um, you make your stitches over all three loops, uh, all three pieces of yarn, yeah? So round one is eight stitches. It's eight US singles, UK doubles. So we're just gonna go straight into that magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to pull the circle tight. So I'm going to pull on the tail end, see which loop tightens first and pull that loop. Make sure you don't get your acrylic stuck or your yarn. If you are using um, like a softer, more delicate yarn, take care with this part. Kind of tease the yarn rather than yank it. Yeah. Pull that tight. And then we're just going to slip stitch across to finish that round. So there's round one, eight US singles, UK doubles. Round two, we're gonna go in each stitch twice with a US double, UK treble. Uh, so that will be 16 stitches altogether. So I'm gonna chain one to make my starting stitch. I'm gonna make a US single, UK double, and then chain one. And that's gonna be my starting US double UK treble. So I'm going to make my second stitch in there. And then two stitches in the next stitch. That's US doubles, UK trebles. And that's your repeat. Just gonna get some more yarn. So I think I'm at my last stitch. I'm gonna make two in there. And then I'm gonna count my stitches before joining up. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then I'm going to slip stitch straight across over the top of that starting stitch. Yeah. So that's round two, sixteen stitches. So in round three, we're going to start using um, some chain spaces to make the gaps. So we're going to make the corner first. We're going to make 
two US doubles, UK trebles, then we're gonna chain two and we're gonna make two more stitches into the same stitch. So there'll be four stitches all together. And I'm gonna start, because this is the first one, I'm not going to make the two stitches, I'm just gonna make the first one. So I'm gonna do a US single UK double, chain one for my starting stitch, then I'm gonna make the corner, so I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna make two more stitches in there. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna skip three stitches, one, two, three, and go into the fourth stitch. And we're going to make two US doubles, UK trebles, chain two, and then two more stitches in there. We're then gonna chain three, skip three stitches. So that's one, two, three, and we're in the next corner. So we're gonna do two stitches, US doubles, UK trebles, chain two and then two more stitches into that corner chain three skip three one two three and into the next corner so we do two stitches chain two and two more stitches into that corner into that same stitch one and two we're then going to chain three one two three just get some more yarn and we're going to skip that those three stitches one two three and we're in the first corner that we started so we're just going to do that first stitch of the corner Oops. And then we'll just slip stitch straight into the corner space to join. And that's the end of round three. So you should have 16 stitches and eight spaces, including the uh, corner spaces. So round four, we're going to make the corner again, the same as we did in the last round. So we're going to chain one. We're then going to make a US single, UK double, chain one. We're then going to make the corner, chain two, and we're going to make two stitches in the US doubles, UK trebles, one and two. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, and we're into the second corner. So we're gonna two stitches, chain two, two stitches. So that's one and two, chain two and two stitches. One and two. So the corners are two stitches, chain two, two stitches. We then chain three, one, two, three slip stitch into the chain three space from round three and then chain three and we're into the next corner two stitches chain two two stitches After the corner, we're going to chain three, slip stitch, chain three. Oops. 
and we'll be back at the next corner into the corner two stitches chain two two stitches slack on the yarn after the corner we do three stitches slip stitch three stitches and we're back to the start so we're going to make that first stitch at the corner and then slip stitch into that corner. And that's the end of round uh, one, two, three, four. So at the end of round four, you should have 16 stitches, four slip stitches and 12 chain spaces, including the corners. So coming into round five, yeah, we're gonna start the corner exactly the same as we did the other so we're gonna chain one we're gonna make a US single UK double chain one then chain two and make two stitches we're now going to stitch across the top of those two stitches and so we're going to go into each one with a US double UK treble And then we're going to make two stitches in that chain space. So there'll be six stitches there all together from that corner space along this edge. You ignore that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're then going to chain one. And we're going to do two stitches in the chain space. We're going to go into each of those stitches. And then we're at the corner. So we're going to do two stitches, chain two, two stitches. And that's your repeat. So after your corner, going into each stitch. Two stitches into the chain space. Chain one, two stitches into the chain space. into each stitch so that's two more stitches and then we're back at the corner so two stitches chain two two stitches into the chain space, two stitches. Chain one and back into the other chain space for two stitches. Into each stitch. And we're back at the corner. So two stitches, chain two, two stitches. We'll just get some more slack. So, oh, chain two. 
and two stitches. Into each stitch. Two stitches in the chain space. Chain one and two stitches in the next chain space. Into each stitch. So that last stitch will actually be the slip stitch from the join in the row before. We're then going to go make, so we're back at the start, we're going to make one more stitch in that corner and then slip stitch straight across into the corner and that's the end of round five. So you should have 48 stitches and then eight chain spaces including the corners. So for round six, we're going to be doing, instead of using these US doubles, UK trebles, we're going to go, we're going to be using US singles, UK doubles. So we're going to start in the corner. Yeah, we're going to chain one and then go straight in and make a US single, UK double. We're going to chain two and then make one more stitch in the corner. We're then going to go across the top of all the stitches and one stitch in that chain space, yeah? So your corners are one stitch, chain two, one stitch, and then one stitch across the top. So when you get to the chain space, just make one stitch in there and then into the next set of stitches and all the way around to the end. Remember, one stitch, chain two, one stitch for the corners. And then we're back to the beginning. And we've already made that corner stitch, so I'm just going to slip stitch straight across. And that's the end of round six. Yeah, and we should have 60 stitches in total. So round seven, we're going to go back to the US doubles, UK trebles, and we're going to go along in each stitch and then the corners will have two stitches, chain two, two stitches. Yeah. So I'm going to start that second stitch at the corner. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do a US single UK double in the corner and then chain one. I'm going to make the corner chain two and then do the two stitches in there. Oops. So one, and two. And then we're gonna go across the top of each stitch with a US double UK treble. So I'm just at the coming up to the end of uh, round seven, and I've just done one stitch in the corner. So we've got another stitch to go, and then we're just going to slip stitch straight into the corner, and there's round seven. Yeah. So round six, uh, round eight, sorry, in round eight, we're going to do, we're going back to the US singles, UK doubles, and we're going to go around in each stitch and then one stitch in the corner, chain two, one stitch, and there'll be a total of, um, so in this round, round seven, there's 76 stitches 
and in round eight there'll be 84 stitches so i'm going to start off making that corner chain one then a us single uk double chain two one more stitch in the corner and then we're going to go across the top of every stitch when we get to the next corner we'll do one stitch chain two one stitch So my first corner, one stitch, chain two, turn around and one stitch, and then we'll stitch all the way along the edge. And same thing when you get to the next corner. And I'll see you at the back of the end. So I'm just coming back to the beginning, just making those last few stitches in there. And then we've already made that first stitch so we're just going to slip stitch straight in and there we go we've finished and that's the end of round eight and you should have 84 stitches oops 84 stitches in total and i'll see you in the next video where i'm hoping to make this lacy lily bud square